Why, hello there. It looks like you might be writing a paper. Well, as food critic, poet, and author of many books, Jim Harrison once said, no one is allowed to use cocaine before the meal when I cook. Such profound words, hidden in the mysteries of a page. Who knew that such advice could be given in such a great way? What I'm talking about here is how to lead in to a quote. We call this in academics a lead-in phrase. Who would have thought? Lead-in phrase is a simple few words that that set up the quote that you're going to use. In explaining how writers can do this, the book They Say, I Say, written by Gerald Graff and Kathy Birkenstein, says something like this. There are lots of conventional ways to introduce what others are saying. Some standard templates are, a number of sociologists have recently suggested that X has several fundamental problems. It has become common today to dismiss blank in their recent work, this person and this person have offered harsh critiques for blank and blank. In short, lead-in phrases, also known as signal phrases, will tell us who is writing, where it might be coming from, or why we might listen to them. A leading scientist from Harvard University, comma, Dr. So-and-so, comma, in his book, title of book, said, quotations, quote. It's going to give us just a little bit to explain the quote. And it doesn't have to be that complex all the time, particularly if you've already stated the author and the title of the book and all of that information is in the paper that you're writing. It's very simple to actually just to say a phrase and then move on. In fact, Purdue Owl claims that all one has to do is say something like, Jane Doe declares. Doe argues that. Doe believes. Doe indicates. Doe implies. It's these very simple phrases that let us know we're about ready to hear a quote now. Because here's the thing that you don't want to do. You don't want to drop a quote in for no reason, giving no context or no ideas. It's almost like that one friend that you have that's consistently quoting movies that no one else has ever seen, and they're just coming in saying, Poison in the water hole, huh? Kikio! So you're like, what, what, what's this all about? It's because they have no presentation of context that no one understands what's going on. Remember that when you start quoting movies, it's better to say, it's like those great philosophers, Mike and Sully, when they once said, you put that back or so help me. And that is what you're going to do. You're going to put that quote back in its context when you're pulling it out to present it for your view. You're going to explain that it comes from somebody and that it comes from somewhere and that that person is arguing for or against something, or is presenting something that is not your own idea. Put that back in its context, or so help me. That concludes our discussion on lead-in and signal phrases. As the author of A Really Big Lunch, Jim Harrison said, How can I answer any of the questions on your questionnaire? All of my dooms are small dooms, the ones, to quote myself, that seem to lurk behind each fence post. Good night and good luck.